Iran, very quickly before I move to Shura, uh, if you look at it last year, the people wanted a system change. And one of the slogans that was uh, cried out at the Aragale was bring back our stolen money and then we can do something about it. But do you think that has happened so far? With no, the Iranian witnessing administration coming into play a few uh, months ago? No, we are near it. So for systems change, two important things in fighting corruption. One is an independent, you need an independent anti-corruption commission. Sri Lanka's anti-corruption commission hasn't been independent. You need an independent anti-corruption commission. This law, uh, as I said, the basis is there for it now. It needs to be implemented. The second thing you need, if you're really going to fight it, is you need an independent public prosecutor. The AG's department, right, if you're in government, you're a minister, they advise you, mm -hmm. right, and then you steal, the next day they have to basically move against you. It doesn't really happen. Then there, I think there is a conflict there. And uh, therefore, I would say you need an independent public prosecutor. In 1974, the people in Hong Kong came on the street, came on the street, and they didn't go back till they got those two things done. An independent anti-bribery commission and independent public prosecutor. I think in Sri Lanka, the time has come for us to have an independent public prosecutor. Governments can change, cases can't be withdrawn. They have to go on, let the judiciary decide. So these are, the, in, the, in the fight against corruption, I would say, there are lots of structural things that need to be handled.